Rev up your engines! It's time for Scotty Kilmer Duncan. If you want to jack up your vehicle to do some work, stay tuned. Because today I'm going to show you how to properly jack up your vehicle. Now, in the olden days, it was easy. Because vehicles had solid frames and you just put the jack right on the frame. But guess what? Most modern cars don't have solid separate frames. They use what's called unibody construction. You look at the bottom of the car, you see all these welds all over the place. They're holding the car together, but the metal's a lot thinner. So if you try jacking up the car using this part right here, hey, it'll just bend. Now in this Toyota, they have special notches where you put the jack. Right here, just in front of the rear tire, you'll see these two notches. This is where you put the jack to jack the car up. And there's also notches behind the front tire. You jack it up here. And here's the notches right here that you put the jack on. Now, of course, you'll need a jack to jack the car up. So here's a tip. Don't just go out and buy some cheap little jack, because big jacks aren't all that expensive. I bought my jacks at Harbor Freight Tool when they're on sale, and they only cost 60 bucks a piece. And if you notice, I've got two. This one's a little bit higher, and this one's a low-profile jack that's nice and slim. I advise buying the low-profile jack, because cars are so low, you need something to get under there. But of course, if you have a truck or an SUV, you can just get a normal jack. They jack up a lot higher. And of course, you need a good set of jack stands. Me, I like these old solid steel ones. Some guys use aluminum ones because they're lighter, but I feel safer with the steel ones. Then before you jack the car up, pull on the emergency brake so it doesn't roll. Then line the jack up with the notches and start cranking. And up she goes. Then get your jack stand. Put it under solid piece like the bottom of this cross member that's solid steel. Then when you let the jack down, it sits on the stand. So now it's nice and stable and you can take the wheels off and do the work you need to do. And of course use common sense when jacking up. Jack up on solid concrete. You don't want to jack up on a hill that's muddy or slippery and might fall down. So now you know. And the next time you need to jack your car up and do some work, you'll feel safe knowing you're doing it right. And remember, if you have any car questions, just visit ScottyKilmer.com.